Marshall as a river has suffered from uh, intensely of, of a lack of any kind of clear rule uh, or even a lack of any kind of common sense. The evidence or much of the evidence that she had been found guilty uh, on was shown to have been forged. The trauma that not only Marsha has suffered but Yvonne has suffered, um, it's close to irreparable. Marsha is a, a, a mother, a single mother. She's uh, the mother of a child who's shortly to be five years old. Her own mother came to uh, look after him while she was in jail, but th that, that lady is now uh, back in the United States because she's suffering from cancer and has to have treatment here. This woman must have done something wrong. She did not. Um, we reviewed it, we met with Louis Free, former head of the FBI. Louis did a forensic analysis of everything and said she has done nothing wrong. Been to Kuwait maybe five or six times for this case, and I'm convinced that the, that the, that the ruling elite, the establishment, want it to be fixed. And yet again, we seem to see rogue elements in the Kuwaiti system, particularly the legal system, uh, disregarding the rules. Um, certainly when we were there, we were, it was very obvious that there were people observing what we were doing. Uh, she is followed all the time. So clearly the court that is prosecuting Marsha and Saeed are being influenced in some subversive way. There's just no doubt about it. If anyone's human rights were violated, hers were. 470 days sharing a cell with at least up to six other women um, sentenced to hard labor. I was in that prison and it is not a good place to be. Marsh is going to need counseling for a very, very, very long time when this is all over as well. At all times, we continue to remind Kuwait that its reputation for um, human rights is being damaged, the reputation for doing business in Kuwait is being damaged. What business is going to go do business in Kuwait when if you pick the wrong local partner and you have a business dispute, you're going to be held up in court, you're going to be arbitrarily held in prison. But by highlighting this issue, I mean, she wants to see changes so this doesn't happen to anybody else, not simply successful foreign business women, but actually to those other women, and she's, she's mentioned very much about them too, who are also suffering. Marsha Lazariba and Saeed Dashti have been treated uh, very poorly because of a uh, business rivalry and the process has been corrupted by a handful, a cabal of officials in Kuwait that need to be held accountable. The Emir, who has a great reputation globally as a humanitarian, is not being well served. Because if this can happen to Marsha, this can happen to anyone. This family needs to be reunited, they need to be together.